by now everyone, and I mean everyone, in the Dragon Ball fandom is going wild and crazy after a trailer for Dragon Ball Super the movie. Seemingly that's the tentative title. I don't know if they're going to call it Dragon Ball Super, a new Saiyan is born or something like that. But we got a trailer, the first trailer for this film, and a lot of people went hype for starters. You saw Goku in his classic gi, classic design. And then you see him fighting some guy that has seemingly fur around his arms, Saiyan armor, I want to say he had a tail, green aura, and they're hyping it up as 100% this is definitely a Saiyan. And you see Goku and him going back and forth. You even see instances in the little trailer of Goku potentially going into a different form. Now his eyes turned silver, but it did remind me a little bit of when he goes Uzuru, almost as if he was losing consciousness for a second there. So I would not be surprised automatically. I'm not really breaking down the trailer with this, but I want to throw this out there. I would not be surprised if Goku is going to have a Super Saiyan 4-esque transformation in this film who knows they might even disregard super saiyan 4 altogether and make a cooler version because that's where i'm starting to see this new villain coming with because a lot of people are speculating well for starters okay who's the villain what is his connections where does he come from we know with the new film dragon ball super the movie it's going to be focusing in on the saiyans history of the saiyans frieza's history with the saiyans and a lot of different aspects so immediately there okay we, we know he's going to be a saiyan he has older I want to say clothing, so you got to think, wait a minute, where, you know, what's going on here? You got to immediately assume wherever he's coming from, there's only two places. Either he's coming from a time portal from the past, or he's coming from Universe 6. Now, I do think that the Saiyan planet of Universe 6 or whatnot, I do think that there's a possibility that they're going to play a big role in this movie. I wouldn't be surprised if it starts off with similar to, I want to say it was Return of Cooler, where they were in space and whatnot. I wouldn't be surprised if that's maybe how the movie even starts. They're on their way to Universe 6, to the... Saiyan planet, maybe Whis is taking them, they're going on a road trip, maybe they're bringing the whole family like they used to do in the movies where you see like Bulma's coming, Krillin's coming, everybody's coming. Maybe it'll start off similar to that and slowly but surely this guy shows up. Now here's the thing. It seems as though, based on that trailer, that that could potentially be how the movie starts off. What if the movie starts off with Goku training in the mountains? Classic Goku. It reminds me of, like, even some of the older DBZ movies, like World Strongest and shit like that. That's what the vibe gave me, and I loved it. He's training, practicing. This dude shows up from wherever the fuck, whether it be a time portal or Universe 6. Bam, they go at it. Then they got to go to Universe 6 to find out if, if he's from there or what's going on. It's going to be interesting to see a lot of these different aspects. It's going to be interesting to see because Beerus did say in Dragon Ball Super in one of the latest episodes, Goku may have passed me. It's going to be interesting to see if this villain is so strong that maybe even Beerus and them can't, you know, tango with him there. I say now, I would love, I don't know if they do it, but if Goku does get confirmed by the end of Super, which I already feel as though Beerus for the most part somewhat confirmed it, if he is saying that he feels as though Goku possibly has reached him or surpassed him, then that definitely means that Goku is somewhere in that margin. Now, just imagine a little more training. You know what I'm saying? He would easily, or not easily, but he would definitely surpass Beerus. It would be sick. If this villain, and this is how you would start off this movie, it would piss a lot of people off, but I think it would be an incredible build-up. It's a very classic element. But what if the movie starts off with this Saiyan taking out Beerus or Whis or both of them? That would be like, yo, how are we going to get this done? It's going to be interesting to see this time around as well, Beerus' role in all this. Up until this point in the movies and every arc of Dragon Ball Super, Beerus has always been like the big brother, the, the big head honcho that, you know, worse comes to worse, if, if Beerus really wanted to help us he could you know what i'm saying resurrection f if you think about it if beerus wanted to say i will not allow you to destroy this planet he could have take out frieza in a heartbeat the you know universe six stuff it was kind of like yeah we're having a cool fight or whatever but again we have big bro beerus and he's just way above us Goku Black Arc, at any given point, if Beerus wanted to, he could have stopped the situation. And then, of course, the Tournament of Power, up until, you know, the ending ending with Jiren and Ultra Instinct. Again, Beerus is like, I'm the god of destruction. None of these people could touch me. So that would definitely be a radical departure. It would also build up this Saiyan to be incredible. Now we got to talk. Again, if his clothing or his Saiyan armor is a little bit outdated or it's from the Universe 6 type of world, then you got to think, okay, so... Where does he come from? There's possibilities because initially when all of this first got started prior to us getting even an announcement of the movie We heard Toriyama talking a little bit about 
Yamoshi, the very first Super Saiyan, and how he led and what happened to him. So again, this could be a time portal of Yamoshi. This actually could be somebody goes and disrupts the past. What if, whatever Frieza's wish at the end of Dragon Ball Super, if he gets his wish, we don't know, I'm not spoiling, we actually don't know who wins and what happens and whatnot. Frieza gets his wish, wishes for something crazy, he wishes maybe the Saiyans were never born or something, where it does an adverse chain reaction that brings this guy to this timeline or whatever happens again. I think that that would be perfect if they lined up the events of the end of the anime to affect what happens in this movie it would be absolutely perfect we always got to remember let's keep it you know the saiyans from universe 7 there is no more there's goku vegeta and the half breeds and vegeta's brother is out there but come on it's vegeta's brother so universe 7 it's not going to come from here unless it comes from a different timeline and then of course there's universe 6 saiyans but based on what we've seen with the universe 6 saiyans can we really argue that there would be somebody even the king of those saiyans that would be on that level kaba was like confused when he was hearing about super saiyan and shit so they didn't even tap into that power unless there's a saiyan there that found out about all the powers kaba and kale and kefla and khalifla and all that shit maybe the king of saiyans over there finds out about these powers and realizes or maybe he's had these powers all along and he's like, oh, so there's some Saiyans over there. I'm gonna kick their ass. Something along the lines of that is possible. But again, it could be a Yamoshi connection. I'm personally thinking because of his clothing and the way he's looking a little bit older and shit like that, like a Raditz type of deal. First of all, let's throw that out there. It's not Raditz. It's not Nappa. It's not any of those dudes. So let's let's cut that out. It'll be pointless. Raditz is way weaker than anybody. Any of those Saiyans, no, it's not gonna happen. So whoever this guy is, again, he probably either comes from a different time period or again from Universe 6 Planet Saddle. Now you got to ask because Dragon Ball Legends recently released a new Saiyan and a lot of people are saying his armor is similar to this guy potentially it could have something to do with this Saiyan maybe this Saiyan in Dragon Ball Legends is kind of crossing over into this film that's a huge possibility as well because again they have similar Saiyan armor it could just be that they're doing this as a marketing ploy like hey he has similar armor maybe he's the guy so a lot of different theories as well but let's talk a little bit about his appearance he has again that super saiyan 4-esque fur all around and shit like that i'm pretty sure by the end of this film love it or hate it it's going to be a transformation that goku taps into i, I feel as though this one's definitely going to differentiate if we had god transformations you know the god one the super saiyan god one and then of course we had you know ultra instinct and whatnot that was still kind of lining into the powers that the gods have i feel as though with this film the transformation is going to go back into what, what we established and started, or this could even be something totally different. This could be a combination of maybe Uzuru and an awakening in a Saiyan. There's a lot of different possibilities, but I can almost assure that either this was the original look of the Saiyans, maybe this is one of the original Saiyans before Saiyans even started looking more and more like, you know, humans or whatnot. So that's a possibility. Or again, this could be some sort of transformation where you need your tail, but you can look at something different. There's so many possibilities. Or again, this could be exclusive to legendary Saiyans that you know through time with evolution these genes kind of left us or left the saiyans and they can't do this anymore but maybe goku will maybe goku will figure it out and by the end of the film unlock that as well you know everyone and their mother is going to be going crazy if he looks like he's super saiyan 4 but even cooler i'm kind of curious what you guys think about this what are you guys' theories on who this saiyan is is it yamoshi is it a new saiyan from universe 6 is it one of the original saiyans before saiyans even started taking more humanoid like forms in terms of like not having fur and shit like that do you think that this is a transformation that goku is going to be able to obtain by the end of it again if you look at the trailer Goku's eyes, he started looking like he was losing consciousness and going into Uzuru. So do you think we'll see the return of Uzuru in this film as well? The great ape form. So many different questions. So much excitement. I'm not going to lie. I can't wait for this. Like, I'm a big Saiyan fan, which as generic as it is, I love it. I, I, I want to see this dude throw down. Also, do you think there's any connections at all to the new Saiyan we see in Dragon Ball Legends with this guy? you think they're just doing that to play it off? Because they both drop around the same time. They both have similar armor. People are going to immediately talk. Your real thoughts and speculations on this villain, this Saiyan, Yamoshi, new Saiyan, what's going on? I can't wait. But that is all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and do a little stalking on my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fun World, and as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule anime and manga for life boy bow
Have an awesome day. That's how it be though. Nothing but great effort just to get a C though. Eyes watching, but we never seem to be though. Even when stakes are high, we never seem to meet, yo. It's always please, yo, never satisfied though. What the fuck I gotta do to get by though? No matter how much I seem to fuck.